I want to start by saying Brakathi Yahawu, Brakathi Yaharashai, Brakathi Yahawu, Brakathi Yaharashai, Kohala Yahawa Bashim Yahashai, Kohala Yahawa Bashim Yahashai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, that great millstone that taught me this doctrine of truth and sincerity. Shallow on to elect the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means he is or he exists. By Hashem, in the name of his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, we know his name to be Yahweh Shai, which means he's the deliverer, he's the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of their father. By Hashem, in the name of the Raka Kodash, which means the Holy Spirit, that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. The so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, and other speckled bird looking like the other nations, and your spirit bear witness with our spirit. That we are the children of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, then you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We would discontinue from our heritage because we went off following after false gods and false idols. Now following the law, such commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through our Lord Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father Yahweh, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the very elect, the ones that will be quickened with the understanding of the Holy Scriptures, and the, one that is, the ones that would be able to understand prophecy, which would be the elect. Okay, again, the ones that would be quickened with the understanding, and they would value. The words of Yahab Hashem Hashem because these words can be able to heal you. While the rest of the things in this world are nothing but vain, and they're nothing but enchantments and sorcery. Okay, they're built upon what sand, and the Lord is building us upon the rock, which is the, our Lord Yahab Hashem, the foundation. So I want to start right here. This is James 1, and I'll start from 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And it cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variables, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will beget it, he us, with the word of truth, that we should be kind of the first fruits of his creatures. Okay? And the first fruits. Okay? Um, and that would be the elect, the ones that were with what? Yahweh in the beginning. Okay? When the, you know, Genesis 1 and 1. Okay, that's speaking about Yahweh Shai was given an order by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, and Yahweh Shai gave the order to what? The, the first church, okay, which would be the elect, the remnant, the Allah Hayim in the Hebrew, okay, which means the powers to be able to create everything you see today. Okay, and then when you read X, uh, Genesis 2, that's when the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, actually comes, in, comes into play. Okay, but he sent forth the order to his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to create everything. Okay, Yahweh Shai is the first begotten, the first fruit. Okay, and in that he created what? The elect. Okay, the ones that would be out there on the highways and the byways professing the word of truth. Okay, and also, um, you know, going into the ones that would believe. Right? And the first, all the first fruits when you go into the law. Exodus 13 and 1. Oh, Yahweh. Spoke unto Moses, saying, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn. So dedicate, okay? Make them separate. Sanctify unto me all the firstborn, whatsoever open thy womb among the children of Israel, both of man, of beast, it is mine. Okay? So in that firstborn, they would go to what Yahweh. But Yahweh gave the first the first fruits to what Yahweh Shai. Because of what Yahweh Shai's great sacrifice. Okay? Making his body's living sacrifice, right? This is John 10. <laughs> John 10 and 26, but you believe not because you are not of my sheep, as I have said unto you, yet believe not. Okay, so you have uh, people that are Israelites, but they don't believe in Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. They don't believe in the, uh, the names. They don't believe that we have the, the sound doctrine, the 100% truth. Okay, because ultimately they don't believe in Yahweh Shai. They don't have the truth in them. Right. John 10 and 27. This is the reason why my sheep hear my voice. So the, the first fruits would hear the Lord's voice. OK. And I know them and they follow me. So that that voice that's being spoken throughout the four corners of the earth. Right. The elect hear uh, the word. OK. And through the word, we're being healed and being sanctified and set apart from the from this world. OK. This is wisdom of Solomon 1 and 7. For the spirit of the Lord filleth the world. And that which containeth all things had knowledge of the voice. Yeah, knowledge of the voice of what? The Lord Yahweh Bashim al Because what is the Lord doing? He's ordering all things through what? His first fruits. Okay. Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 1. Wisdom reaching from one end to the earth 
and another mightily and sweetly did she order all things. Yes, yeah, so through the internet, brothers are able to speak one one to another to be able to receive this word that can be able to heal you, to be able to give you salvation. And this word is what pure. Okay, there's nothing profane about it, right? And nothing can be able to enter into it. This is um, wisdom of Solomon seven. In 22, for wisdom, which, which is the worker of all things, taught me, for in her as an understanding spirit, holy one only, manifold, subtile, lively, clear, undefiled, plain, not subject to hurt, loving the thing that is good, quick, which cannot be let it, ready to do good. Yeah, ready to do good, right? Kind to man, steadfast, sure, free from care. Okay, because I just saw something uh, when I was looking through some news articles on End Time Headline News. You had this uh, pastor, which he's, of course, preaching uh, false doctrine, right? These pastors of these churches, right? He was receiving death threats. Okay, that's all part of being in the ministry. Okay, you're going to be hated for that name's sake. Okay, but what are these uh, pastors? They're receiving 100, and also I saw another one that has received 100 million in tithes. Okay. And what are they doing? They're pushing what that white pale face image, okay? Showing you that that's profane and outside the temple, right? So in the end, what the um, the unbelievers are going to be found out, okay? And the only ones that are going to be standing is those first fruits, okay? Or uplifted from the coming destruction. Why? Because the heavenly father, Yahweh, sent his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, the first begotten son, okay, to be able to get the first fruits, Okay, with this knowledge, wisdom, understanding to be that um, for Yahweh Shai to be that perfect sacrifice for um, us to be able to open this for Yahweh Shai Salakia to be able to open the seals of this book and for us to be able to understand it. Right. Wisdom of Psalm in seven and twenty three kind to man, steadfast, sure, free from care, having all power, overseeing all things and going through understanding, pure and most subtile spirits. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is the breath of the power of the Most High and the pure influence flowing through the glory of the Almighty. Therefore can no defiled thing fall into her, and her is referred to as wisdom. Okay, For she is a brightness of the everlasting light, and the brightness of the everlasting light, because Esau Edom is in his, his light on the left-hand side. Okay, but what's happening is the light of the righteous is what um, outshining the, the is dimming the darkness. Okay, because you have to the only way to be able to, um, you know, to see the darkness is if you have the light. Okay, which is the truth. Right. So let me read that again. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 26. For she is the brightness of everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of our power in the image of goodness. Yeah, the unspotted mirror. Okay, going into the heavenly Father Yahweh, you can't um, you can't touch him. <laughs> okay, you can't touch the heavenly Father Yahweh. Only Yahweh Shai has seen the only uh, seen the heavenly Father. Okay, and you can't touch what the the wisdom. Okay, because the wisdom is what um, is comes from up above. Okay, and it's been given to what the servants, the prophets, to the believers to be able to believe. Okay, wisdom of Psalm in seven and twenty seven, and being but one. Okay, not a bunch of different doctrines, not a bunch of different gods. And being but one, she can do all things. And remaining in herself, she make it all things new. Yeah, going into refreshing our mind. Refreshing our mind and bringing us back to remembrance. That word new goes into the Greek kainos, okay, which means to be refreshed. We're being refreshed of our identity by the Lord um, having the men on the highways and the byways being that perfect sacrifice. Being that sacrifice out there. And then the Lord, what, guiding us to those men, you know, whether it's through the Internet or on the highways and the byways to be able to receive this wisdom. OK, let me read this again. Uh, wisdom of Solomon 7 and 27. In being but one, she can do all things remaining in herself. She maketh all things new and age is entering into holy souls, not profane souls, not people calling out most high Christ blessed. But entering into holy souls, she maketh them friends of the Most High and of the prophets, so the true men of the Lord, right? 28, for our power loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. Okay, the Lord loveth none but those that dwell with wisdom. Okay, which would be the first fruits. They would have the wisdom that would pertain to salvation. 
okay? And they would hear the Lord's voice, which the Lord's voice is what through the prophets, okay? They had apostles that great most of them, the elders and the bishops that have the sound doctrine, okay? So John 10 and 27, my sheep hear my voice and they know them and they follow me. My sheep hear my voice and I know them, Salakia, and follow me. I give them eternal life, okay? I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So no one's going to be able to pluck uh, pluck you if you pluck you out of the Lord's hand if you're of the elect. Romans uh, 8 goes into that too, right? My father, which gave them me, is and this is the point right here. My father, which gave them me, is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hands. So Yahweh Shai is speaking about the heavenly father, Yahweh, showing you that they're not the same people. Okay? And the heavenly father, what gave the first fruits to what Yahweh Shai, and they would hear the voice. Okay? Through the wisdom that's, that's uh, which is a gift from up above. Okay? That doesn't waver. <laughs> Right, so going back to this, James 1 and 17 in the NLT, whatever is good and perfect comes down to us from the Most High, our Father Yahweh, who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. Okay, he never changes. Okay, so the Lord didn't change um, the, the, the people that he loves. Slakia, like the Lord never changed, he never changes. Okay, and the Lord's not the Slakia. Like Okay, the Lord never changes. Okay, and he's not the author of confusion, right? This is um, because you have uh, you know, wacky tacky Christians and even wicked Israelites uh, that, you know, they want they want uh, Esau to make it. Okay, and the Lord already spoke about what's going to happen to Esau. Okay, the so-called white men, those that are wicked, right? Yep. Hebrews 13 and 8. Yaharashai, Hamashiach, the same yesterday and the day forever. Okay? The same forever. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats which have profited them and have been occupied therein. Yeah, so going into the, and these are strange doctrines to who? To the Israelites. When you're speaking about hell, that's a strange doctrine, because that's not in the Holy Scriptures. Okay? That's profane. That's outside the temple. Those are fables. Okay, Hebrews 13 and 9, right, in the NLT. So do not be attracted by strange new ideas, okay? Strange new, you know, it's the hell doctrine. I mean, it's not a new idea, but you have where camps, they weren't teaching it, and now they're starting to teach it even more, okay? And then they're starting to teach where, um, you know, the, the heathen nations can make it too, okay? That's a strange doctrine, right? Uh, so do not... It says, do not be attracted by strange new ideas. Your strength comes from the power's grace, not from rules about food, which do not help those who follow them. Okay? Yeah, rules about food going into, um, uh, Yahweh Shai spoke about, it's not what uh, goes in the man that defiles him, but what goes out. Okay? You know, the things that you're saying are, is actually, uh, you know, can lead to your destruction. Okay? So, but the point is, the Lord is not the author of confusion. He changes not, okay? And the Lord never changed that, um, the people that he loves, which are you Israelites. But you have to be in the right state of mind. You have to be purified by this word. Malachi 3 and 6, for I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, the sons of Jacob are not consumed. That's the reason why we haven't been consumed, okay? Because the Lord is actually graven, okay, his image, you know, in us, far as spiritually, okay? It's something that you can't see. Okay, but it's there, right? Isaiah 49 and 14. But Zion said, the Lord Yahweh have, for, have forsaken me. My Lord have forgotten me, right? And the Lord never forgot us. Can a woman forget her suckling child that should not take of compassion on the son of her womb? Yeah, they may forget, yet why not forget thee? Yeah, so these women in the world, they'll forget about their child. They'll leave their child with somebody and all sorts of stuff happens. But the Lord is not... Um, the Lord's not going to do that. That's why he sent forth his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to be that atonement for our sins. Right? Isaiah 49 and 16 this is the point. Behold, I have graven thee upon thy palms of thy hands. Thy walls are continually before me. So when the temple got sacked and us being put down, okay, and Jerusalem is a people for its a place. So when we were taken down, that's always been on the Lord's uh, spirit. Okay? But the Lord already written has written the story from the beginning. And again, the Lord's not the author of confusion. 
Okay, the Lord's not going to stir up, a, 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 you know, a prophecy. Everything has to be done in order, decently and in order. Okay, and in that, that's why the Lord is raising up the first fruits first. Okay, um, and then uh, in the kingdom, the two thirds will come through the bowels of the very elect. Okay, and the Lord is equipping us with the um, the edification that's coming out. Okay, this is Second uh, Timothy three and sixteen. <laughs> 2 Timothy 3 and 16. Okay. Let me, let me get this. It says, 2 Timothy 3 and 12. Let me read in the NLT. Yes, everyone wants to live a godly life. And a Mashiach Yaharashai will suffer persecution. Yeah, everybody wants to, they act like they're godly, but it, but it actually takes suffering to actually be godly or to be holy. Okay, just like Yaharashai had to suffer pers persecution, even though he was perfect in the flesh. Okay, 13, but evil people, imposters will flourish. They will deceive others and will themselves be deceived. Okay, yeah, because the Lord is, um, if, if someone's deceived, the Lord is deceiving them. OK, the Lord deceives the people uh, far as um, the deceiver and the deceiver are his. OK, those that are doing the deceiving, the Lord controls both good and evil. OK, whether you have righteousness in your in your, in your, your holy or whether you're offering up uh, or you're um, deceiving the people. OK, and right now, IUIC and Sakari, those those heads are what deceiving the people. OK, because they're doing um, worldly things as far as they're being hucksters. And even IUIC, they're not even saying the, the true name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. OK, so these are imposters, but they are flourishing far as in the society of, you know, they got a bunch of likes or a bunch of people following them. OK, but again, the elect would be falling down the straight path. OK, and the elect would be a little sanctuary. It wouldn't be a, a big number. OK. 2 Timothy 3 and 13, but evil people and postures will flourish. They will deceive others and they themselves will be deceived. Okay. Let me just get that scripture real quick. Because going into the first fruits would not be deceived. Right. They would know the truth and the truth shall what set them free. Right. Let me get that scripture first. This is John 8 and 12. John 8 and 12. Then spoke Yaharashai again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followed me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have light of life. Yeah, the light of life. Because you have um, physically where Jake is walking around, but mentally and spiritually they're dead because they don't know who their master is. While the Lord has made us alive through what the, the quickening of this understanding of the truth to be able to have this light, which is the truth. Ezekiel 14 and 9. And if a prophet... Be deceived when he has spoken a thing. I, Yahweh, have deceived that prophet. I will stretch out my hand upon him, and I will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. And they shall bear the punishment of thy iniquity, and the punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. Okay? And those also seeking guidance from those false prophets. Okay? They're going to be uprooted. Well, the elect is going to be able to what? Stand firm. Stand firm on what the, the um, that rock, the foundation. This is Matthew 15 and 13. But he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father had not planted, right, shall be rooted up. And that's what's that's what you're seeing. That's why you see these breakups in these different camps, because they're being uprooted. OK, 14. Let the it says, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind and the blind lead the blind. They both shall fall into a ditch. And what is that ditch? Esau Edom's uh, pit. OK, taking the mark of the beast, OK, getting caught up in the lake of fire, getting caught up in famine, pestilence, evils. Well, the elect are going to be able to go down that straight path. Matthews 15 and 14. So ignore them in, in the NLT. So ignore them. OK, they are blind guides leading the blind. And if one person and if one blind person guides another, they will both fall into a ditch. OK, and that's what it is, because if you don't have this truth, you're actually blind. OK, spiritually, you're blinded by what the, the ways of this world. OK, because it speaks about if our gospel be hid. Right. Second Corinthians four and three in the NLT, if the good news we preach is hidden behind a veil, it is hidden only from the people who are perishing. 
Okay, because again, if you don't have this truth, you're actually perishing right before, uh, right before everybody's eyes. Okay, and what's the good news? The good news is that we're Israelites. Okay, and the, and the heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai. Okay, but also what comes with that is the suffering, being hated, being persecuted. Okay, uh, for that name's sake, but that's also part of um, the ministry is to suffer. Okay. And that's what a lot of people don't want to do. They don't want to suffer. They they want all the, the, the gifts, you know, the glitz and the glamour, you know, the prestige. They want all that, but they don't want to sacrifice for it as far as they don't want to suffer for it. Okay? That's why you make your bodies a living sacrifice. Okay? And that's what, again, the first fruits will be doing. Going back to 2 Timothy. What was that? 3? Yeah, 3 and about 14. 2 Timothy 3 yep, and 14 in the NLT. But you must remain faithful to the things you have been taught. Yeah, faithful to the things that were taught because you have the leader of IUIC where he learned under Apostle Tahar. Okay, but what has he done? He's come come with his own thing. You have Sakari where their leader learned under the men of GMS and now he's gone his own way. And you see what happens when you go, when you go astray. It speaks about a child left astray Um you know, um, they will basically, you know, they don't have the wisdom to be able to stand firm because they're not standing on that, that, um, you know, that rod or that, um, you know, that correction being corrected. OK, instead, they're they're being um, they're they're being foolish. OK, Second Timothy three and 14. And it's not just them. I'm just, you know, saying those particular people uh, be, because well, what's going on. OK. Uh, which is what false anointings. Okay, they're they're putting on that they're godly and that they're holy. They got the fringes, they got the beards. Okay, but the but really the inside is an open sepulcher. Okay, Second Timothy three and fourteen in the NLT. But you run, you must remain faithful to the things you have been taught. You know they are true, for you know you can trust those who taught you. So this also goes to John ten, in the beginning. You know, you learn the correct way, basically, to be able to uh, teach or the way that you were taught. And then you go astray because you have other other lusts. You, you teach for filthy lucre's sake. OK, you're you're you know, you're all about fame and glory being somebody on this side. OK, you don't want to be a part of somebody in this world. OK, you want to be a part of the Lord's elect. OK, which means putting off the things of this world, departing from evil. OK, when you read Job. Job 28 and 28, and unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and depart from evil is understanding, and depart from evil, not to engage in 501c3 contracts. Okay, not to engage in the in marching down the street. Like you're in the like you're uh like you're the um you know like you're in Germany, like you're in Nazi Germany, not marching down the street, you know, like you're Esau Edom's army. Okay. The Lord didn't tell us to do that. The Lord said, eat the whole roll, eat the whole roll and go out and teach. And they haven't ate the whole roll. Okay. And so they're teaching false doctrine. Let's read this again. Job 28 and 28. And unto man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord. And that goes into them not having fear. Okay. Fear of the Lord. That is wisdom. And that apart from evil is understanding. And apart from evil is understanding because we were all in the world. And when the Lord called us, um, he has a way that he's purifying us and refining us um, as gold in the, in the fire. Okay. As far as taking away those things that, that are uh, those evil, wicked ways that we, that we were doing and what making us holy through the washing and the cleaning of the work to not to, ha and that goes into discipline and that goes into what uh, um, receiving the warning and the instruction. Okay. And it's not easy, you know, being in this world because everywhere in this world is nothing but wickedness. Okay, it's pushed, it's elevated at its highest level, where the most vilest men are exalted. Okay, look at look at look at the uh, presidents. Okay, they're most vile vile men, and they're controlled by even viler men that control them. Okay, but they're all in cahoots. What to come against the, um, the Lord's elect? Okay, come against the doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Okay, Second Timothy three and fourteen. But you must remain faithful to the things you have been taught. You know that they are true. For you know you can trust those who taught you. 
Okay, because Jeremiah three fifteen, the Lord said, "I will get, I will feed you with pastors. I will, I will give you Saki. I will give you pastors. I will feed you with knowledge and understanding." Roughly paraphrasing that. Okay, that will feed us with what the spiritual bread, the nourishment to be uplifted, because uh, food uh, and water is supposed to nourish you. It's supposed to you know bring bring uh, um, you know goodness to you uprightness okay but what does this world do they defile the water they destroy the water they destroy the food and then they give you artifact they give you ai <laughs> they give you artificial artificial intelligence okay they don't give you the truth but this is the truth and that's why um, a lot of people hate it because they don't want their their wickedness to be exposed okay second timothy 3 and 15 you have been taught the holy scriptures from a childhood and they have given you the wisdom to receive the salvation that comes by trusting in a Mashiach Yahavashai, okay, from our youth, okay, as far as when you come into this truth, you have to be brought back to um, being a baby, okay, when you read John uh, 3, uh, Nicodemus um, was, was going, you know, he thought it was a cardinal thing, oh, I have to be, because basically he was going into being reborn. Okay, and he was thinking about cardinally, so I have to go back and the mother, no, but spiritually, you're being reborn in your mind far as uh, putting off those, the, whatever that was that you know is wicked in the Lord's eyes, and that's all through wisdom. Okay, that's the only true way that you know uh, what is evil and what is, what is righteous, because the Lord gives you wisdom to spiritually discern that. Okay, and it speaks about that actually in Ecclesiastes 8 and 4. Ecclesiastes 8 and 4, where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say unto him, what doest thou? Yeah, the word of the king. Who's the king? Yahrashai. Okay, king of king, lord of hosts. There is power. Who may say unto him, what doest thou? Whose keepeth that commandment shall feel no evil thing? And a wise man's heart discern both time and judgment. So if you're just, uh, if you're a wise man, as far as you're able to see, you see that America is circling and draining to have no part with it. Okay, <laughs> they have no part. It's, it's going to be ugly. Okay, and brothers feel it. Okay, as far as the temperature, as far as, first of all, prophecy is here. Most of the prophecies are, are right at the door. Okay, and that means our, our Lord is at the door of our minds, letting us know to get right with him. Okay, before the said destruction, before the grace period is over. Okay, Ecclesiastes 8 and 5. Who, who's keeping that commandment shall feel no evil thing in a wise man's heart to certain both time and judgment. Yeah. And what time are we in? We're not in the time of playing around with people. Okay. If a nigga can't get it, we're moving on. He that is a heretic after the second, third ammunition reject. Okay. And it's not about all being buddy, buddy and, and being all, being all friendly. Now, if you're, if brothers are doing the work, that's a different thing. Okay. We're supposed to show brotherly love, but if someone is just playing around with the truth or they're kind of in the truth, Okay, um, be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. Okay, because again, the Lord is is pushing pushing His elect to be all gas, all gas, no break. Far as others true. Okay, Second Timothy three and sixteen, all Scripture is inspired by that power and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. That's right, um, because. When you first, when the Lord first brings you into the truth, what you're being corrected. Okay, don't follow, uh, you know, <laughs> Santa Claus. Don't, don't, don't follow these the pagan holidays. Okay, grow your beard out. Don't have no cuttings. Don't have long hair. These certain things, the Lord is using men to be able to reprove us and to correct us. And all scripture. I remember when Elder Yashawama brought this scripture out. Okay, and basically it was it was someone on the comment board or something like that, uh, basically saying, why do you keep talking about the mark of the beast? Because his prophecy and all scripture is inspired by the Most High and is useful to teach us. Okay, we're not supposed to let it go. Okay, oh, okay, we've already talked about that. No, you when when something comes up about it, we're supposed to report on it, and it's all through the power of Yahweh Shema Shai, because he's the one that moves us to be able to do this work. It's not of our own works. Okay, uh, Ephesians uh, two speaks of Ephesians two and eight speaks about that. You know, any man should boast. The Lord is what. Um, we are his uh, workmanship, okay? He's, he's uh, let me get that. He's guiding us to do it, to fulfill prophecy, just like the Lord controls everything. You don't have free will, okay? 
Ephesians 2 and 8, I like to read this in the NLT, our power saved you by his grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from the most high. Going back to James 1 and 17, right? He's, there was eight, there's 18 different nations, right? And the Lord has one chosen nation that he loves, which is the children of Israel. And the Lord changes not, okay? You heathen nations had your chance to get right. You didn't get right. So now what, your time's up. And now what, uh, our Lord has sent forth our Savior, Yahweh Shai. He sent forth what, again, the, the prophets to be able to speak these uh, words, okay? And, and through the words, we're being healed. Okay, which is a gift from Yahweh Hashem Shai, John 3 and 27. Nothing shall be given unless it's a gift from the Most High. Okay, Ephesians 2 and 19. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done. So none of us can boast about it. Yes, yeah, salvation is not a reward because we were we were so smart or we, we did everything right. No, it's because of grace through the Lord, that the Lord has mercy on his people, which are you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so none of us can boast about it. Okay, this is the point right here. 10. For we are our power's masterpiece. He has created us anew in the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. So we can do the good things. So we actually, um, the Lord gives us meat, fruit for repentance. Okay, so we can be able to prove our loyalty to Yahweh Shimon Shai by being tried and tested. Okay, and that's why um, those that are ashamed of the doctrine, those are not the Lord's elect, because the, the men of the Lord wouldn't be ashamed of the doctrine, no matter what it is. Okay, because you have things that are not, um, um, you know, quintessential. I don't know, <laughs> fifty dollar word, right? Uh, to the to to this world. Okay, the ways of of Yahabah Shemal Shai are. Um, the ways of Yahweh Shema Shai are contrary to the world. Okay, when you read Isaiah 55, it speaks about the Lord's ways are above our ways. Okay, we might not know why a certain situation is going on, but again, Yahweh Shema Shai controls everything, and everything he does is in righteousness. Okay, and what did he plan long ago to put us um, in our land? Okay, when you, I was just reading that Isaiah 49 and 14, when you go down, it speaks about having peace and being put in our land and how the Lord um, engraving us, you know, in the or the Lord's palm is uh, has us engraved in, you know, in his hand. Okay, roughly paraphrasing, right? I just read it, right? So we are the Lord's masterpiece when we're in our right state of mind. Second Timothy 3 and 16, all scripture is inspired by that power and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. Our power uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. His people. Hakama doesn't say everybody because the Lord's only dealing with his people. Amos 3 and 1. The Lord has not dealt with any other nation. Only, only you have uh, known of all the nations. Okay, let's read this in the uh, King James Version. That a man of power may be perfect. That the man of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly furnished into all good works. Thoroughly furnished. And what does perfect mean? Okay. Thoroughly furnished. Yeah, because first the Lord started with um, when Ezekiel was speaking about the dry bones, can these bones live going into what the house is? You have what the a house being built. You have, you know, the you know, where it's basically a, a skeleton, right? Being built. You have the different boards that are going up. Then you have what the, the actual wall. OK, um, going up, then you have electrical, then you have it being furnished. The Lord's giving us all of this, but spiritually. Let me see. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Strong's G739, Artias, Artias. Yep. Apparently, a special appetite for giving you, yeah, appetite, okay? A special appetite, meaning that we can, what we're eating off, other people can't eat off it. We have a, a diverse plate. Aptitude. Aptitude, slaki. Oh, that's the, okay. Aptitude, the, na the natural slaki, the natural ability to do something, 
Yeah, so also going into our appetite, far as um, when you read in the Apocrypha, it speaks about we have a diverse palate. We're not just going to eat off any plate, okay, because we know that there's defiled uh, uh, plates, far as, again, spiritually, the food, okay? Fitness, yeah, so we are what um, the Lord is making us fit through what the discipline that he's given us, right? Special aptitude for giving uses, yeah, special aptitude to be able to um, not waver when we're receiving death threats or not to waver when we're, um, you know, faced with adversity. Okay. We're not going to waver, right? We're going to trust in our Lord. Yeah. Fitted. Okay. Let's go into the root word of this. Strong's G 737. Arty. Arty. Yeah. Through the idea of suspension just now, yeah, the hour, the hour of temptation, okay? The hour of temptation where the Lord's going to intervene, okay? But he's making this right, right now. Making us equip, you know, furnish. Let's go into this word furnish real quick. I got to bounce out, but let's see if I can get this real quick. Strong's G, 1822, Exartizo. Exartizo. Exartizo in the Greek, 1822, to complete, finish. Yeah, because everything has to be fulfilled. Okay, all the prophecies had to be fulfilled. We had to go through slavery. We had to be, um, you know, uh, you know, far as cast away. Okay, but now the Lord's bringing us back to the fold by giving us back our identity to furnish perfectly, to finish, accomplish, as it were, render the days complete. Yeah, the days of our us being in captivity. Okay. To finish out, equip fully. Yeah, teacher. So you have to have correct teachers to be able to uh, furnish, you know, as far as your spirit, your your mind, your body, your temple. Okay. And this is James. And in that, the Lord is giving us a pure doctrine. James 3 and 17. James 3 and 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure. Then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality, without hypocrisy. Yeah, it doesn't waver. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace, and of them that make peace. Yeah, those that are speaking what pleasant words. Okay, because even though we're being hated, we're actually speaking peace to our people. Okay, and the Lord's making us equip and furnishing us with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding that pertains to salvation. Okay. So this is James 1 and 2. My brethren, count it all joy when all fall into diverse temptations, so the things that you have to go through, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect, entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of that power that give it to all men, liberally and unbraided not, and he shall be given unto him. Yeah, because sometimes a brother might not understand or someone in the world might not understand. Okay, but the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Shai understands, right? Six, but let him ask in faith. Yeah, ask in faith for whatever you need. Okay, because the Lord can do all, all things are possible with the Heavenly Father. Right, but let him ask in, in faith, not wavering, for he that waver is like a wave in the sea, driven in the wind tossed. Yeah, so you don't really believe that the Lord is, is the, the one. Okay, you you think it's a joke, right? But the Lord can do all things. Okay, but and if and if you ask in His namesake, the Lord shall give it to you. Okay, if it's meant to be, right? And what are we asking for? Our Lord Yahweh Shai to come back to put down all rulership and authority. Right? For let not the man think that they shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in his all all his ways, and that's what you have. You have a lot of double-minded men. Okay, skipping down. James 1 and 12, blesses the man that endured temptation. For when it is tried, he shall receive the crown of life when the Lord Yahweh Shai had promised them that love him. And that would be the first fruits. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted by the Mosai, for our power cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt any man. Yeah, you do it because you are already uh, set up to do that. You're in those ways. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and entice. And that's what you have. A lot of men are drawn away by the glitz and the glamour of this world. Okay, when the glitz and the glamour, the Lord's coming to destroy all idols. Okay. 
James 1 and 17, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and coming down from the Father of lights and with whom there is no variables, neither any shadow of turning of his own will he begot he us, he us with the word of truth that we should be kind of the first fruits of the creatures. Let's read this in NLT 18. He chose to give birth to us by giving us the true word and we out of his creation became his prized possession. Okay, and that's the elect, the prized possession, the household of faith. Let me get this one. I'll end it right here. James 1 and 12. Our power, Yahweh Shai, blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation afterward that we receive the crown of life that our power has promised to those who love him, the crown of life, which is the wisdom of knowledge of Yahweh Shai. So with that, Kohala Yahweh Shai, Shalom to elect, Pamyashalom.